hi welcome back okay so today's video and for anyone who's watched my channel you'll know I haven't updated in a while the reason for that being is that I decided I needed a break because well I don't do anything with my time anyway and I don't have internet anymore so it's harder to make videos but today's video is going to be about the controversy people are facing on Facebook about this kid who's this, a sixth grader. Anyone who knows what age that is, you'll know exactly why I think this is completely wrong. But this kid refused to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah. So, my big problem with this I didn't stand for it either. See, I went all through middle school and all through high school not standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. It wasn't because I was ashamed of my country. No, that wasn't the issue at all. The issue was just I didn't want to. And I didn't feel that I was proud of my government enough to do this. Because in order to do that, you'd have... It, it basically pledges you to the country itself, which means pledging to the government as well. And I wasn't ready to do that because I did not trust our government. I like the country. I think everyone here is free. I think everyone here has an opinion. But for whatever reason at that time, I did not think that the government was doing a good enough job. So that is why I did not stand. So nobody forced me either. Nobody got up. Nobody made me get up. Nothing. They just let it go which is the way it should be now. This kid, I don't remember what high school he's from, but obviously if you're all over Facebook, you'll see it. This kid is a fucking sixth grader, and he's being bashed up one side and down the other and called names, and his family's being bashed and called names and everything because he refused to stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. You cannot sit there and tell me that every person in this entire country has stood up for the Pledge of Allegiance. That's not possible. Everyone has their own minds and their own things and things that they want to do. Some of us physically can't stand. Some of us don't want to, like me. Or in later years, I physically couldn't because later years my hip was bashed up. But that's not the point. The point is, is that this kid is obviously a kid. He's a child. He doesn't deserve to be bashed because he didn't want to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. It's not the parents' fault. They probably didn't even know about it until after the fact. Because how are they going to know? He's at school. And that's the other thing. They're blaming their parent. They're blaming his parents. That may not even be a, by a byproduct of his parents. He just may, he just may not want to stand for it at all. It's got nothing to do with his parents. It's got nothing to do with their beliefs or anything. If he doesn't want to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, that's not up to anyone else to make him do this. And the fact that the teacher decided that they were going to force him to do that is wrong. I was pretty violent in high school. And if a teacher had tried to make me stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance, I'd have punched them. I'd have gotten called up to the office during the pledge, and I'd have been expelled because I would have beat the shit out of that teacher. That's not the teacher's job. The teacher's job is to teach you, not to force you up out of your seat during a pledge of allegiance. That's violence. And the fact of the matter is, it's no one's job and no one's opinion of what this child does. It's the parents. And the parents are obviously handling it very well because they turn around, and I've watched videos on this, They've turned around and said, oh, well, that's his right. They're right. That is his right. If he doesn't want to stand, he doesn't stand. It's just that simple. And, of course, I'm probably going to get bashed for this because this is my opinion. But, you know, it's like I stated in a comment on that said video. It's a free country. I know my rights. Do you know yours? And the fact of the matter is, is I can obviously provide proof that right of opinion right to bear arms, right to do everything, because that's what I learned in high school, okay, that's what they teach there, and I obviously have proof, I can put videos, I can put freaking 
pictures and everything into videos at the all day every day and at the end of the day it is up to you all horrible horrible people that are bashing a fucking child because he did not want to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance I'm just gonna let that all sink in the fact of the matter is it takes a 26 year actually I'm holy shit I need to I need brain anyway it takes a 27 year old woman to point out that that's his right that everything that you idiot people are saying to this child and calling this child is wrong it takes a 27 year old woman to tell you this do you know how freaking pathetic that is you sh you should guys should already know that this is wrong why should I have to point it out get over it grow up learn that not everything is about you not everything is about that flag not everything is about the army not everything is about this that or that or whatever you want to call it at the end of the day it's about us and our opinions but that doesn't mean you have to shove it down someone else's throat you can bash me all you want it's not going to hurt me any i've been bashed before in my life so don't think for one second that bashing me is going to change my opinion or change things about the world nah. we all know opinions don't really change the world give it a rest but that is my video for today I figured I was going to take my anger, anger issues out on this video because I think it's stupid that you're taking your anger out on a child. He's a fucking sixth grader who was manhandled into standing. And yet everyone thinks that's okay. It's not okay. No, it's not okay. It's just not. It's obviously not. And... This teacher should have been punished for it because that's wrong. The whole point of the matter is, is that this teacher manhandled that student. What if that student had had something physically wrong with him? Or, God, for, God is forbid, a freaking thing wrong with their bones or something like that. There are diseases out there like that. You can't just go around manhandling people because you don't like the way that they do things. That's wrong, irresponsible, and completely stupid. And it just makes me want to go up to you and do this fucking same thing to you if I don't like what you're doing. It just, it's a vicious cycle. If you're going to be violent, go somewhere else. Other countries allow violence. And it's like I tell people. If you don't like the way the country's ran, do something about it. Don't just freaking whine about it on Facebook. Don't comment on Facebook. Make a big giant freaking whine like fucking babies. Do something about it. Don't just fucking sit there. Sitting on Facebook and bashing a child is all fucking good and well, but it's not changing anything, is it? So, there you go. That is my opinion. And I'm going to leave you with that opinion. For anyone who decides to bash me, your opinion on me will not change anything. I am a 27-year-old woman. I know what my beliefs are. And if you have to bash me because you don't like my beliefs, then that means that, you're, that you don't know what your beliefs are. And that you don't agree with everything else. And you're basically going to act like a child. That's fine. You can act like a child all you want. I'm a grown ass fucking woman and I don't need anyone's approval. So that is it. Don't expect a reply if it's uh, violent or anything like that though. Just don't. It's not going to happen. I've got better things to do with my time. So with that, I will see you guys next time. Hopefully I will make another video in a day or so maybe. And I will see you guys next time. Blessed be.